Let's create an awesome poster using the open source software Inkscape and Krita. Open Inkscape and create an A4 page. Select the rectangle tool R on your keyboard and draw a rectangle the size of the A4. Give it a dark color. Now select the mesh gradient tool and tap the rectangle. Select all and give it a dark color. Double click on the edge of the rectangle to create the mesh effect so that we can apply multiple colors on the rectangle. I'll speed this process up a little bit. Now select all the inner nodes and give it a light color. I am giving it a shade of purple. Select some of the nodes and give it a yellow and a red color. Select the edge nodes and give it a darker shade of the same red or the yellow so that it can be perceived as shadow falling onto the image. Now increase the blur level of the rectangle to smooth out the effect. And duplicate the rectangle and send it backwards and make the blur level 0 for that. Export the A4 page. Use Ctrl Shift E as the shortcut to export. Now open Krita and import the exported photo from Inkscape. Select the Transform tool. Oh, it seems we have to crop that image first. Select the Crop tool and draw along the rectangle and press enter on your keyboard. Now it is cropped. Select the transform tool again and select the layer, right click and go to add, add transform mask. Now if we transform the image, the transform layer will make changes to the image so that the original image will not be edited. Now right click and click mesh. If you click on the rectangle, you can see the controls to adjust the mesh. Now adjust this to make it look like a 3D blob. I'll speed up this process a little bit. Now duplicate the layer and delete the transform mask. Now right click and create another transform mask. Now you can edit, make another 3D blob. I'll speed up this process. Export this image by going to File, Export. Export this as a PNG. Now open up Inkscape again and import this image. Create a rectangle and send it backwards. Right click and duplicate the 3D blob. Now draw a rectangle over the small blob and select both by holding shift, right click, set clip. Cover the other blob using a white square.
duplicate the small blob and change its size and rotate and change its blur level so that it will look like it's far away. Now repeat the same process multiple times. I am experimenting with the positions. Now change the color of the background. Give it a radial gradient and make the middle color a light color and the surrounding colors dark. Again, I am experimenting with these colors. Choose whatever fits best for you. I've created this extra square, but I think it's not needed now, so I will delete it. Create a text using the text tool T on your keyboard. Type something and send it backwards. I have chosen the font Satoshi, bold and about 100 pixels in size. Duplicate the text and add more words and set the position to backwards. Experiment with the colors and change the sizes according to what you see fit. I'm speeding up this process so that you don't need to wait for the whole time when I make mistakes. So these are the colors what I came up with. As a final touch, I created more text along the bottom of the poster so that it won't be empty and it will be balanced and I aligned them to look better. Hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching.